and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a number of pens currently inked for this week. So I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through these in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right, we have a Sailor King of Pen and this is the Sakura Nagar. We have a Classic Pens LM1 in the flame red. We have a Wild Eversharp Deco band oversize, and this is in the Positano blue. We have another Wild Eversharp Deco band oversize, and this is in the jade. We have another Wild Eversharp Deco band oversize, and this is in the wild side. We have a Pelican M1000 Warden Starlight, a Pelican M1000 Warden Sunlight, a Visconti Medici Il Magnifico. We have a Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust and we have a Visconti Opera Master River Thames. So I think let's go and look at these pens in a little bit more detail. So this is a really stunning Sailor King of Pen, Sakura Nagar, and it's a beautiful pen. It's a, a Mackier Raden pen and it's the Sakura a Cherry Blossom uh, petals that are flowing down the river but you can see here that these are really really beautiful so this is a pen that I really longed for for a period of time and I was I rarely do this so I um, when I wanted to get this pen you couldn't buy it in a retail shop usually you had to order it and pre-order it and I saw this pen available in right here and I said to John, I want that pen. And John said, unfortunately, it's just sold. So I had to wait what was hopefully going to be another three months. And in the end, I ended up waiting about five months. And then I cancelled my order and uh, I think it was around uh, October uh, that year so it was about nine months longer uh, then John had this pen it came in and uh, I bought it at the London Pen Show so this is a beautiful King of Pen uh, you'll see here it's got a King of Pen nib it's a 21 count gold nib uh, this is a broad nib and this was the pen that I had actually ordered and uh, John did say that he was cancelling my order but he hadn't cancelled the pen as well so uh, the pen did come in and this was the pen that I'd ordered so it was kismet I, I just decided I had to buy this pen it was not only a pen that I wanted but it was the pen that I'd actually pre-ordered and then cancelled so I'm really glad that I was able to pick this one up and I have that one inked up so it's some of these pens have some interesting stories and that one was a pen that nearly got away. And uh, thankfully, I had the second chance of getting hold of it. And, and I did. This pen, again, is another pen with a, with, a, with a wonderful story. This is a classic pen. And it's the LM1 in the flame red. It's a diffusion bonded acrylic made by uh, Andy Lambro and Paul Rossi. And these are absolutely stunning pens. Uh, I like, I prefer the LB5s in the, the Fusion Bonded Acrylic. Uh, this one I picked up from Sarge and uh, strangely enough, I, I was at the London Pen Show one year and uh, I, I started to go making a list of pens that I wanted to look out for and that I would probably buy. This one and an LB5 in the Flame Red were two pens that I'd put on that list uh, for that pen show and I went there and I rushed around to Sarge's table it was the first time at the London pen show that I'd gone and Sarge had this LM1 and he had some LV5s as well and I very nearly thought that somebody else was going to buy this pen and I I actually found out afterwards it was actually Gary uh, who uh we've become become friends and uh we used to go to the london pen club together when it was around and uh he comes to my uk south pen club now and uh it was interesting he wasn't going to buy this pen it, it it was 
I think out of his price range, but he was looking at it and he was looking at some of the LB5s and uh, I'm glad that I was able to pick this one up. Sarge did have an LB5 in the flame red, but unfortunately he had just sold it. So uh, it had been uh, reserved for somebody else that called him up. So that was a little bit unfortunate. I didn't get the LB5 in the flame red, but it would have cost me a lot more money. Uh, so I have that one inked up. Uh, I have this one, which is a, a new acquisition in 2020, uh, at the end of 2020. This is a Wild Eversharp, and it's the Deco Band Oversize. Uh, or is it Oversize Deco Band? I never quite really know. Um, but I'll call it Deco Band because that is the model, and then Oversize. Um, this is a lovely modern... Um, while ever sharp and this has an 18 karat gold uh, medium nib on here these are really beautiful i i like the size i like the weight of these these are really chunky pens and uh but i like those i like it a lot so for me this is a really good it's a resin material there but you can see that material the chatoyance that's going on there in that material between the the light and the dark areas so I, it's a pen that I had the opportunity of picking up. It was on sale um, at uh, Bryant at Chastley Luxuries. Let's see if I can get that pattern to there you go, match up there. Look at that. That's just beautiful. So it was on sale at, at um, Chastley Luxuries, and uh, I picked that, that one up. Um, a, along with uh, the Jade as well, this is another resin one of the Wild Eversharp Decoband Oversize. And again, this material resin, but it's got a huge amount of chatoyance there going on. Um, I actually wanted a gold trim, to be honest. Uh, and uh, I had a gold trim for uh, on loan for review. Uh, but there wasn't a gold trim available at Chatterley Luxuries. Um, so there was only this silver trim or rhodium trim. Uh, but to be honest, I actually like it now. I... I'm normally one that would go for gold trims if I have the option of going for gold trims. But I just love this. I think the, the rhodium color trim matches really nicely. And again, this has another 18 karat gold medium nib on here. These are pneumatic filling pens. So they, they have a sack inside them. Uh, so they, they will hold a, a lot of ink. But these are also super wet writers as well. But this material is really stunning. So uh, I, I have that one inked up uh, with me uh, this week as well. And then I have this one. And again, <laughs> I, I went on a bit of a spending spree just before Christmas last year. Uh, I, I wanted a couple of Wild Ever Shops. These two were on discount. And then I ordered them. And a few days later, lo and behold, Bryant puts this one up on offer and he had some wild side and I've got a number of wild side pens. This is the wild side material. And I, I thought actually when I placed the order that this was a rhodium trim, but it's a ruthenium trim. And I was a little bit disappointed when it arrived, but I'm liking this more. I think this actually adds a lot more class to the pen. So now I, I actually prefer this than a rhodium trim because it also has a ruthenium trim coated nib there as well. Again, these are all um, pneumatic filling pens, but these are just beautiful. Um, you can post the caps, but they don't post deeply and it makes the pen a massive pen. Look at that. that. That is just insane. Who in their right mind would want to post that cap? I'm sure there's probably a number of you saying, yes, you would like to post that cap. Um, but that's just too long for me. The next pen I have inked up this week is this one. And this was my Christmas 2019 um, present. And this was a Pelican M1000 Varden Starlight. And... I really do love this a lot. This really is a beautiful pen. The amount of work that's gone into making this pen with the Mackie gold dust here, the Rarden strips, it just is gorgeous. And you can see the 
Mackie Artist signature there. And these come with a Pelican M1000 medium nib. They don't come with any other nib. It's always a medium nib. You can unscrew the nibs and swap them over. Uh, I typically don't need to because I find that these are actually pretty, pretty sort of wide nibs. Uh, although I, I tend to prefer maybe a more medium to broad nib. I find that these write pretty broad anyway. So I wouldn't need a broad nib in here or a double broad or a triple broad. Um, I I might at some point go for a fine nib, an M1000 fine nib. Buy, just buy one on its own and then swap that out and see how that writes. Um, it might actually write a little bit sort of narrower. I have this one inked up as well, and this is its sibling, and this is a Pelican M1000 Raden Sunlight. And uh, this was my uh, birthday present uh, in 2020, and this was a beautiful pen. I actually, <laughs> I actually picked both of these pens up from the same seller. Uh, the, the seller was on uh, Fountain Pen Network. Uh, he was based in the UK, and... Uh, he only had the Starlight for sale, and I bought that, and then a couple of weeks later, he listed this, and I I realized I just had to get this, because this is just gorgeous. So again, this has uh, a Pelican M1000 medium nib. It's an 18-carat gold nib, but these are just stunning pens. Um, really good works of art there, and I really would like some more Pelican M1000 Rardens. They are not cheap pens, uh, unfortunately. They are pretty expensive pens. So uh, I'd have to not buy a lot of pens to afford one at the sort of recommended retail price or close to it. I have this pen inked up as well, and this is a Visconti Medici Il Magnifico, and this is in the red marble. Uh, this is a heavy, heavy pen. This is made of marble, made of solid silver, and it's aged silver. It comes with a 23 cap palladium medium nib there, uh, but this, it's a heavy pen. But I like writing with it. It's also freezing cold. The, the marble and the silver does not warm up. Um, maybe it would if you put it in a fire, and I'm not going to do that, but, but these are very cold to the touch. Uh, it's an interesting pen to write with uh, if you haven't tried writing with a heavy pen. So I have that one inked up. And I have this one, which is a Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust. And I didn't know this existed uh, when I saw it. I saw a couple of photos. I think it may have been three or four photos of this pen. And I was in awe. The uh, I was after the Opera Master Tobacco at the time, and I had missed the opportunity on a couple of them. They the tobaccos sell really really quickly, and then this one came up, and I decided to jump at this because I thought this one would go quickly. It did for me <laughs> because I bought it, um, and then within about a week, another tobacco came up, and I was like, ah, damn it. Like, maybe I shouldn't have bought this one, but I am so glad I have because this material is really, really stunning. So, um, this has a fine nib on it. Um, the only issue that I had was the because uh, this was a second hand pen, the ink window uh, had uh, some micro fracture cracks in it. I sent it off to Visconti, they fixed it under warranty sent it back to me and I'm so glad I, I did that because uh, I was worried at some point that that would fracture and just start leaking. Um, but this it's a beautiful pen. It's a number three there, as you can see, of 60. So that's uh, a limited edition one for sure. And then we have this one here and this is the Visconti Opera Master River Thames. And, okay, if you think that that's a limited edition run of 60 is small, this is a limited edition run of 28. 
So this is the River Thames. Now this came in a number of different versions, different trim colors. So there was the yellow gold, which was, I believe, Sunrise, which is what this one is. Then there was the Midday, which was the Rhodium trim. And then there was the Sunset, which was the Rose Gold trim. And then there was the Midnight, I think it was called the Midnight, which had a Ruthenium colour trim. I was tempted to pick up a few more of these because I do love this. It's a lovely pattern. It's the, the pattern here that you see also on the Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog Cap. Uh, this is a beautiful pen. Uh, this uh, is a 23 cap palladium nib and this is a 1.3 millimeter stub nib. But this this is beautiful nib and uh, I, I do like the pen a lot. And uh, so I, I do have that one inked up as well this week. So I think with that, let's go and do a writing sample. So the first pen is the Sailor King of Pen, Secure Nagar. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now, I have this inked up with a different ink. I normally go for KWZ Grapefruit. And I decided I would try a little bit more of an orange or orangey or orangery ink uh, this time out. So this is the Sailor King of Pen. And it's the Sakura Nagar. And it's a broad 21 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here today is Diamine. And it's Blaze Orange. Which is a very nice orange colored ink. The next pen is the Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And there's normally two inks that I'll put in here. Normally one is Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. And then the other is uh, Blackstone Yuluru Red. Uh, I put a different red in here this time. So this is the Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red. And this is a medium, it's a Bok 18-cat uh, gold nib. And then the ink in here is Pilot Iroshizuku. And it's Fuyu Gaki, which is a, a really lovely, um, more of a pastel red ink. The next pen is the Wild Eversharp Decaband Oversize in the Positano. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And you'll see here that this is a super wet nib. This is the Wild Eversharp. And it's a Decaband. Am I going to get oversized in there? Yeah, I think I probably... Uh, no, actually, I won't get oversized in there because of the uh, Positano. So uh, it's a medium 18-cat gold nib. Uh, now, you're going to see that this is feathering already. So I'm using Oxford Optic paper here, and that normally is pretty good to contain feathering. But there are some inks and some super wet nibs where it will feather like crazy. And this is one of those combinations. So this uh, ink up, uh, ink, uh, pen is inked up today with uh, Rora and Klinger. And it's Blue Mare. But that, unfortunately, is going to feather quite a bit on this paper. Now, it doesn't on Tomare River paper. 
Uh, I normally find that it's very good on that paper. The next pen is another Wild Eversharp Deco Band Oversize, and this is in the Jade. So again, we'll do another ink swatch here. Now, this is still quite a wet pen, although the ink is a little bit more on the drier side. Uh, I find a lot of blue greens tend to be a little bit more dry. So this is a Wild Eversharp. It's a deco band, and I will need to actually just flush that feed a little bit. Let's do this, yeah. And uh, it's the jade, and then it's a medium 18 cat gold nib, and then the ink in here is diamine. Aqua Lagoon. And I hadn't been writing with that for a few days, so sometimes uh, I'm sure you experience that nibs do and can dry out sometimes. The next pen is the Wild Eversharp Decaband Oversize in the Wild. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this again is a super wet pen. Just see that there. So this is the Wall Ever Sharp Deco Band, and it's in the Wild. And again, it's a medium eighteen cat gold nib, and uh, the ink in here is Lamy Black which I find is a really lovely deep black ink. And it can sheen a lot as well. The next pen is the Pelican M1000, and this is the Varden Starlight. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now, these Pelican M1000 nibs are also quite wet writers. So this is the Pelican... M1000 uh, Warden Starlight and it's a uh, medium 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is uh, Robert Oster and it's gold antiqua which for me is a really lovely greeny gold ink. The next pen is a Pelican M1000 Varden Sunlight. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now this is a medium nib, but again it's quite a wet writer just like the other Pelican M1000. So this is a Pelican M1000, Varden, this is the sunlight, not the starlight, and it's a medium 18 cat gold nib, and then the ink in here is diamine, and it's purple rain which is a really lovely purple ink, although it is very high in dye concentration, so it is a little bit harder to clean out. The next pen is the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, this is a medium nib. And I find this is a fairly dry ink. So this is the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico. 
and uh, it's a medium and it's a 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is pelican edelstein and it's star ruby now <laughs> i started to chuckle a little bit as i was uh reading that out because i just glanced up and i looked at the wild ever shop it's still trying to dry <laughs> it's a super wet ink super wet pen as well the next pen is the visconti opera master and this is a golden dust so we'll do an ink swatch now this is a fine nib and the ink is not an awfully wet ink as well being a brown ink a lot of brown inks typically are not that wet so this is the visconti opera it's me skipping not the pen opera master and it is the golden dust now this is a fine 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is waterman and i want to get this right because they changed names on this one uh it, let me have a look at the bottle here uh this is uh called absolute brown the previous name for this was actually called Havana Brown, as in Havana, as in like the cigars. But they changed uh, the names in the mid 2010s, uh, I think around about 2010 to 2012, may have even been 2014, but they changed the names anyway. The last pen here inked up this week is the Visconti Opera Master, and this is the River Thames. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Uh, you can see here already, this is a very wide nib. So this is the Visconti Opera Master River Thames. And it is a 1.3 millimeter stub, and it's a 23 cat palladium nib. And then the ink in here is Pelican, Edelstein, and uh, this is Sapphire, which is a really, really beautiful ink. Just having a look at that. Like, let me show you the bottle here. That is a beautiful color ink. So I think let's take a look at these pens inked up one more time. So we have a Sailor King of Pen, Sakura Nagar, in a broad 21 karat gold nib inked up with Diamine Blaze Orange. And you can see how bright that orange is. It's a true orange, I would say. We then have a Classic Pens LM1 Flame Red in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Pilot Oroshizuku Fuyugaki. We have a Wild Eversharp Deco Band oversized in the Positano in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with War and Klinger Blue Mare. And this is still wet. We have a Wild Eversharp Decamand Oversized Jade in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Diamine Aqua Lagoon. We have a Wild Eversharp Decamand Oversized in the Wild in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Lamy Black. We have a Pelican M1000 Warden Starlight in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Robert Oster Gold Antiqua. We have a Pelican M1000 Warden Sunlight in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Diamine Purple Rain. We have 
a Visconti, Medici or Magnifico in a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Pelican Eagle Sign Star Ruby. We have a Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust in a fine 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Waterman Absolute Brown. And then we have a Visconti Opera Master River Thames in a 1.3 millimeter 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Pelican Edelstein Sapphire. So there you have it. That's my currently inked pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.